Yeah, I remember my Mushi original. One CC. I was like hella hyped when I got that one. I know I should have started with uh, 1.5 in uh, Mushi Hime Sama. I mean, I knew of it late. I was like, you know what? It's too late. I'm already <laughs> invested into 1.0 normal. Might as well just like finish the job. I even had to use like save states on main to help me out. I watched like tons of videos and stuff. Yeah, normal original is quite hard. Because the bullets are fast. Like, it's like a Toplin game. And then, when you pick Maniac, then they go into the Don Maku. That's when things get busy. Pick bullet patterns and stuff. What's up, Mano? How you doing, man? Good seeing you. Playing Bike Bandits PC. Game came out in uh, 2003. Oh my God. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, man. Good seeing you again. Hope all has been well. And if not, I hope uh, it's turned into something well. That's what life's all about, man. You know, gotta handle the good shit, the bad shit, the ugly shit. Can't be good all the time, you know what I'm saying? It's about how you handle it, pretty much. For me, um, Germana, for uh, Mushi, I, I would say that was my first 1cc ever. And in a shmup. Like, I didn't know I was <laughs> starting off with the, the hardcore shit. I don't know if I'll recommend like for a new shmup player to do an arcade shmup first. Maybe something a little more lenient. But there's a lot you can learn from playing those hard games. Yeah, it was. Again, 1.0 or normal on Steam. Now 1.5, which is actually a little more lenient. Cause like there's some like slowdown and shit. And that um original, there's no slowdown. <laughs> Only in like selective places. You're getting the raw shit. You gotta dodge this shit in real time. No bullet time slowdown or nothing, man. Fuck that. Don't give a fuck how you feel. Yeah, you don't like it? I, I think it's cool, but I, I do think, like, sometimes it could be, like, too much. But I, I find it helpful. There's just some patterns that are just, like, too much. Yeah, that's huge, Ramana. That's right. <laughs> the slowdown really is more helpful when you're playing, like, Maniac like ultra and shit when there's like screens just like full of damn bullets and you're just like oh shit what do i do and you have to like micro dodge and shit 
That's when it makes sense. Oh my lord. And he's got a little too close. Like that one game, I don't know if y'all remember me playing. Maybe like a month ago, Eden's Aegis. That game is pretty much like bullet hell. And this, there's like a slowdown function that you can turn off and on. And with that on, man, it, it makes the game like really, really slow. Like, like runtime. Like you once you see the game, it takes like 35 minutes. But if you turn that slow down off, it's called wait. If you turn it off, it makes the game, uh, you know, a little more difficult. And then the one CC is like maybe like 20 minutes or so. Like it like slow down, like adds like time to the game and shit. Yeah, that's right, Lager. XX Game Room. Yeah, he makes fantastic games. But a lot of them like are pretty like lenient. Cause he puts like auto guard in them and stuff like that and um, like slow down and shit. So if you're like a new player, I usually recommend those have like a good mix between like, like a strict arcade shooter and like, you know, something that has like a little more like leniency. Oh fuck. Almost chill bullet hell. <laughs> I would say that and like with um outside Don Maku, who made uh Like Dreamer on Steam and like Cosmo Dreamer. Those games are pretty chill. Oh my lord. Cause it, it, um, their games are pretty cozy and like have pretty good like visibility and shit. Yeah, it can be relaxing. Wait until you play that nightmare mode though. Then you're gonna be sweating. You're gonna be like, oh fuck. <laughs> Like, I thought this game was chill. I haven't gotten to that yet, to be fair. <laughs> I'm still trying to do a uh, freaking maniac with the with the counter mode on with the TLB. I haven't gotten to that yet. That's a cool ass game. And it's, um, I think it just came out on Switch, too. So for y'all that got a Switch, you can get Like Dreamer. The only thing I don't like about the game is, like, the character designs. They're a little bit too much for me. Like, the mascot of the game is the, the girl with the, the fucking sandbag boobs and shit. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that's a little, that's a little much. Cause it looks like a kid's game. If you, you know, <laughs> if you really, really like take all that out and shit, it's like, it looks like just a kid's game. Like, yo, who you trying to like attract? But beyond that, the game is cool. I mean, too bad there's not like a, um, a mode to take that out or if you find it distracting or if you don't want to like have people looking, you know, you don't, don't want to look over your shoulder and shit while you're playing.
right, I gotta get rid of that gun over there. Both of them, fuck. up here <laughs> a cup of range <laughs> I would hurt man Pfft. I think Vanilla Alice is like a motherfucking G cup or some shit yeah a cup of range yeah yeah that, yeah <laughs> <laughs> a cup of range. Like a cup. That's like what I have. <laughs> Nothing. That's me. Wait, I gotta shoot this damn thing down here. this down here there we go scared of big slow big chunky slow bullets i don't like those either if like the hitbox on them are like pretty damn big like look what's going on right now these are big bullets like oh shit whoops <laughs> um the hitbox on them aren't like that big so it, it looks deceiving pretty much. And that's fair, a, lo a lot of like bullet hells have that. But like the sprite of the bullet is like big, but then like the actual like hitbox is like tiny, tiny, tiny. Kind of like the hitbox of this character right here. Like you see like the little dot in the middle, like that's my hurt box. Yeah, it's, it's not scary, man, to be honest. It, again, it, it's, it's, a, um, it's a trick. It's supposed to fool you to make you think that it's scary when it's really not. The game is just trying to flex. Oh yeah, I like that too. The thing is with this game, it only shows up when like bullets are like really close. Well, I mean, what, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. I ain't gonna be too nitpicky about it. Get low, get low. Yeah, I think so too, Lager. It's always like helpful as hell. Oh my God, it ran into me. All right, I can catch a breath right here. Like, there are some games where they let you see the hit boxes and hurt boxes of like the enemies and bullets or have a practice mode with those on
What up, cake? My same cart looking like. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Not that much. I think I have everything I want. <laughs> and my wish list is just games of that haven't been released yet. And games I kind of don't really care to get right now. But yeah, there's a sale going on on Steam. I remember like two years ago, I bought a bunch of games on like sales and shit like that. Games be like $5, $2, one buck. <laughs> like shit. It's like, like you going grocery shopping and shit. You just putting everything in the cart, not giving a fuck. I said this before, like, I, you know, I had to slow down. End up like buying games I didn't really like. And I'll play them like maybe like a month after I bought them. So I won't be able to like refund them. Cause I think different games have like um, different like refund periods or some shit. Oh fuck. My wish list also has some games that got delisted. <laughs> that always kind of sucks. Like, fuck, I can't even buy this game at all. Yeah, I'm pretty much good. man that's a tough part very very tough it's my little safe spot did buy triangle strategy that's on sale made by square enix it looks like <laughs> um octopath just in the style of like strategy rpg I thought I shot this little thing up here. What the hell? Oh, you got shotted. Hey, camp down here. Cheap strap. I don't give a damn. And paid.
fuck. Oh, I hate that. Oh my God. Fuck. Oh my good lord. Two shmups during the sale. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, you don't want to go overboard during the sales. Cause it's too easy to do that. Play the ones you got. Eat them, clear them, have fun with them. Yeah. There'll be an another sale. They have these sales pretty often. Like how often they have steam sales? Like every damn season. <laughs> Gateway computer down here. Oh, fuck. Lord. The big ones are quarterly. Oh, okay. And the major holidays. Yeah. That sounds about right. sales they last for a while too this is like almost like two weeks <laughs> oh no Give me all these cherries. Robots.
Ooh, got the one up. Sometimes it's hard to see because everything kind of has the same little layout. Oh shit, my damn homing missile is like shooting stuff off screen. <laughs> I'm seeing like chips. I'm like, whoa, where's that coming from? Oh yeah. Oh no. Let's do this.
Come on, 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 come on. Oh. Yes. Woo. And I had three lives to spare. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, fuck. Oh my gosh. I've been stuck on that all fucking week. All I had to do is just get close and shoot her, you know, when she uh taking, you know, her little break in between the phases. Fuck. Oh, fuck. That was too fucking crucial. Way to go. Thanks, Germana. Thanks, Laggard, Mono, Ake. Get it, get it. Hell yeah, man. Oh, fuck. Get this money, man. Fuck. Get. Now I have a uh, three out of five done. Whew. Damn. Y'all like these panels though. Look at this shit. Cause what was going on is that when I was doing runs before, I was having trouble like with damage against the final boss and then I watched the video and I saw him getting like real up close. I don't know if y'all saw. And when you get up close, you get more damage. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. Damn. Hell yeah, that's a whole damn shmup right there. That's a whole game with that damn boss, man. What the fuck? Yeah, point blanking. Yup, you're right, Lager. Yeah, that was a long fight. Yeah. That was a real long fight.